What in the world did you do to me? Uh, sir? I don't know who this man is! Drop your weapon, this is your first warning. Oh, those ships! Nothing but lies! Drop your weapon, this is your second and final warning. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? Why, you son of a bitch! Why? Externally indistinguishable from humans? When in God's name did robotics get this advanced? The tech to build a robot skinned in a living layer of cells has been around for some time now. It's just been illegal. Oh, it's much more than that, gentlemen. The AI is particularly fascinating. Far beyond our products here at Bergen. We can barely even analyze its neural structure. Well now, Mr. Bergen, this is ridiculous. You are supposed to have the most advanced R&D in the world. And now you're telling us that someone is just a teensy bit ahead of you. Only because we haven't been allowed to venture into that potentially lucrative area, General. Perhaps if this government hadn't given in and signed the new Geneva Convention, the United States would be producing such robots already. We're a God-fearing country, Mr. Bergen, and only he may create life. Mr. President, this isn't life. Convincing as it may be, it's still a robot. We call them hollow children. If it's indistinguishable from humans, where does the machine end and life begin? Well, this is philosophical bullshit. There are only two things that matter now. Number one, if you did not make this thing, then who did? And number two, why did it come after you? What do we know about this hollow child? It was granted a green card 30 years ago under the name Dominic Berry. 30 years? Jesus H. Christ! If not for yesterday's events, we may never have found out it existed. We're now certain there are more living among us in America. Well, now that's insane. Not really, General. Now just what in the hell do you think you're doing? You see... It would appear that hollow children actually believe they're human. Well, this is bullshit. <laughs> I'm no goddamn. Mr. President. I can think of only one man with the knowledge and resources to build this robot. Dr. Yoji Amada. Huh. Recognized genius in the field of AI and founder of Amada, Japan's largest robotics corporation. You don't sound too sure. So this photograph is 40 years old. Amada hasn't been seen in public since. That's crazy. He'd be 80 years old by now. The Amada Corporation is in league with Japan's New Order. I read about them. Isolationists. Self-sufficiency, that's right. Yes, sir. They wield a lot of influence over the Ministry of Homeland Affairs. And you really think they're behind this infiltration? Besides myself, Amada is the only man I know who's capable of this. Get me the IRTA in Geneva. Oh. oh shit! Don't this boy ever get tired? Shut up and jump! Yeah! Oh, 
That scrap head is really starting to bug me. Fire in the hole! Shit! Oh! oh! Everybody alive? Holler if you're dead. <coughs> you know, it's it's funny, but my briefing said this was to be a covert operation. Come on. What can I say? I like to make an entrance. So, you must be Charlie. It's Commander Charles Gregory to you, thanks. British Division. Yeah. XMI six, right? I kinda guess that. Is it supposed to be me? Yeah. We all are. This is Lieutenant Rachel Townsend. Hmm. Sergeant Dan Marshall, ex-Special Forces. Sergeant Roy Botang, ditto. So, I'm to babysit you two then, yeah? Think you can stay out of trouble in future? What can I say? They started it. Base to be to one. At London Clear Base. Sorry to burden you with my clowns. No disrespect intended, sir, but you Yanks do tend to make a lot of noise. Know what I mean? Not all of us, Gregory. Just those two. So, where's everybody else? Well, the French are already inside the city. They said there'd be a Chinese squad, too. file photo doesn't do her justice. She looks familiar. Reminds me of an actress or someone. Come on, Bo, you know the only movies you watch are porn. <clears throat> oh, yeah, right, with the... Mm, yeah. <laughs> hey, watch this. Excuse me. Hi, I'm Dan, and that is my partner, Bo. Ni hao. Ah, the strong and silent type, huh? I like that in a woman. Maybe if you pair learnt some manners, she might not be so silent. Yeah, rough with the smooth, man. So, this is all China sent, huh? Just one woman? I am First Lieutenant Fei Li of the People's Liberation Army. My two subordinates were killed by security robots on the way here. Aw, oh, shit, listen. We didn't mean no disrespect. Hard to believe you're the one they call a survivor. Well, appearances can be deceiving. You ain't that special. Just real lucky. No luck? Well, that's good. Because we could all do with a bit of luck. Because the Japs consider anyone without official ID as an invading hostile. So, we're all in the crosshairs. Speaking of, sir, we'd better get moving. Right, Peter one to base. Now moving to first contact rendezvous. Roger that. Base out. Got some local help in the Shibuya flood zone. It's this way. The 21st century started off pretty bad, and only got worse. Sea levels rose, climate went to hell, and three quarters of the major cities around the world were flooded, ruined, and uninhabitable. Local and national authorities rebuilt upward, above the waterline. Whole new cities, using the old as foundations, and leaving the lower layers, the flood layers, to rot and decay. But a lot of people had already died as the world collapsed. Who was going to build these incredible new structures? Robots. I call them scrapheads, but then I've never been a fan. Not that anyone cares what I think. Fact is, we needed robot labor like never before. One company rose to dominate the market. Bergen Advanced Robotics Technology from the USA. Bergen has a 95% share of the global robotics industry. Of course, they didn't get there without ruffling a few feathers. Most famously, the Amida Corporation in Japan sued Bergen for stealing its technology, 
But by then, Bergen was already huge, and Amida lost its case. That was the last obstacle between Bergen and world domination. And thanks to them, the USA is now the global superpower. In 2040 AD, the world's remaining economic concerns ratified the new Geneva Convention. One of the most controversial parts of it was Clause 21, which banned research into robots that could pass for human, or hollow children, as the media called them. Forty years later, a hollow child attacked Bergen's headquarters in the USA. He didn't just fool the humans, he seemed to have no idea he was a robot himself. I'm Sergeant Dan Marshall. I work for the IRTA, the International Robotics Technology Association out of Geneva. The IRTA set up a global task force called Rust Crews to deal with breaches of the convention, especially Clause 21. We've got full support from the US military, which is where I used to work anyway. <laughs> Some things never change. And that's how me and my partner Bo ended up in Japan. Because the US suspects the hollow child who turned up in America was made by Yoji Amada, legendary robotics genius and the founder of Amada Corporation. We're here to arrest Amada and take him to Geneva any cost. That means we get to knock out any scrappers that try to stop us along the way. <laughs> I sure hope they try.